Hey, good morning. Welcome to Luke chapter 4, verses 40 and 41. Let's see what the Word of God says. This is Jesus now. Let's see what happens. When the sun was setting, all those who had any who that were sick with various diseases brought them to him, and they laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. And demons also came out of many, crying out and saying, You are the Christ, the Son of God. And he, rebuking them, did not allow them to speak, for they knew that he was the Christ. Okay, so an interesting business here. Jesus, he's he's healing, and he is uh, exercising. He's casting out demons. And so notice they all wait. They're waiting for the sun to set because they've got this notion that, oh, you know, we have to wait for the sun to set, and it, it, Jesus can't heal us because it's what? It's the Sabbath, so we can't do anything good. We've just got to sit on our hands. But then, as soon as the sun goes down, Jesus is going to heal us. Well, we're going to find out as we go further on. We've already found out, I think, right? Jesus will heal people right on the Sabbath. In fact, that's one of the things he's going to uh, correct in their misunderstanding. But that's what they're doing. They're waiting. And when they come, Jesus does something. Notice what it said in verse 40. He laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Now, Jesus could do it without touching them, right? He could just go, Psh, you're healed. But Jesus chooses because guess where? Guess what? We're human. It's inhuman not to, not to have some degree of touch. We are supposed to be able to hug and touch each other. And, and, and we're designed for that. And so Jesus, he actually comes and he actually lays hands on people. And he actually heals them. And interesting too. How many? How many did he send away and said, "Okay, you three guys are in good shape. You know, you got to get your, uh, you got to go clean your room. You got to put your house in order and come back." Well, that's not what he does. Jesus instead it said he laid his hands on every one of them, every one of them. And so Jesus was glad to heal every single person who pre was presented presented themselves to him for healing. If you have a need, friend, Jesus is ready to heal you. To heal you. Now, in his wisdom, we ask that, the, that any healing be done according to his wisdom, the riches of his mercy. He may know something better about you or I that, that we don't know. He may know something about the laws of health that we are violating. And so it may be wrong for, our, for his purpose for me, for him to heal me. But let's let him be the healer and let's ask him to do it. And so I love this, that he would heal everybody who's presented to him. Friend, I'm sure there's things that Jesus wants to heal in your life, in your experience. Let's just ask him to do some of that. Let's pray today. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we have no power in ourselves. There's no magic in the, in the, in the, in the Bible as a book, Lord, but, but there's, there's power in your word. Lord, your power may it be present to heal wherever it's needed, wherever hearts are fully submitted to you. And a lot of times, Lord, our hearts are not fully submitted to you. So it would be damaging to us to receive such healing. But please be our helper, Lord. Help us to be completely given over to you, completely willing to go your way. And thank you, Lord, that you laid your hands on everyone who presented themselves to you. May you lay your hand on some hearing this devotional thought today and give them some form of healing that they've been needing for a long time and give them, make today their day, Lord. Give it to them, your gift today. Through Jesus, we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Well, the Lord will be the judge, but he's also the great physician. May he, may he be with you today in all of your deeds. God bless you today.